Well, welcome back again, everyone. Today I'm reviewing one of the two new Arandoza cigars. Today's choice is the White Label. Very ornate, pretty band here. Uh, Arandoza, a lot of foil usage there, gold foil. There we see Arandoza across the uh, main band and white across the foot. They have a white label and a blue label. I chose the white label to review today is the Robusto 5x52. It uses the Nicaraguan Dark Habano wrapper, Nicaraguan binding, Nicaraguan filler. Cool thing about this cigar is it's the first private boutique brand coming out of Eric Espinosa's La Zona factory in Esteli. Owner of the Arandoza brand is Robert Arango. This is a nice looking cigar, good size. I'm anxious to try it, both for the fact that it's uh, Nicaraguan and the fact that it's coming out of the La Zona factory. So let's get right to it. The Arandoza White Label. All right, a couple of things to take care of first before we start. We have to remove this band at the foot carefully, not to tear anything. I always get a little nervous when we remove uh, bands around the foot and this one may not cooperate but it's coming across here we go there we go looks good we'll save that for later and uh, oh the other thing is we didn't talk about the density first of all this triple cap uh, uh, here's a shot of the cap close up and uh, here is a shot of the density This cigar, to be so short, has a nice feel in the hand. It actually feels, uh, has a nice weight to it. It feels weighty. All right, so let's gently cut this triple cap. Triple cap, not surprising, coming out of La Zona. Eric triple caps his cigars. Oh, that is a great draw. And I love it when I take off just a little bit. There, if you can make out. I mean, there's basically this shape of the cigar still intact. I've got a little funny thing going on there, but it's just the way I cut it. Great draw. Great draw. All right. Okay, what I'm getting is a very sharp, dry cedar. And believe it or not, there appear to be cocoa notes, light cocoa notes attached to it. Pepper's very good, about an eight. There's some light earth notes attached to those two also. So that's sort of how we're starting. To nail it down took about a quarter of an inch. So uh, let's see where we go from here. The, the ash is showing already a nice white color. Very white. So let's see where the Aaron knows a white label goes from here. something about a half inch in or so and uh, there are definitely some sweet notes picking up here um, there's an uh, initially there was a sharp dry type cedar now the cedar is getting sweet and uh, it's showing just the beginning stages of maybe we'll get a little richness down the line 
but uh, the nice little sweetness is 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 very good. There are also a few dry oak notes popping up. Um, I'm a little surprised at the initial combination of cedar and um, cocoa in this type of cigar, but uh, that's exactly what it tastes like. So, you know, judge for yourself. Uh, the ash continues to be very light in color, which seems appropriate for a cigar called white. Uh, I would call the cigar medium body, and it shows a lot of signs of going fuller. So uh, let's see where it goes. But uh, right now, everything is right on schedule. There are those the white labels doing very nicely. Well, I'm about two inches in. As you can see, I had to remove the band because it's so large. But at this point, everything's starting to pick up. There's a little more intensity of all the flavors. The uh, cedar is a little sharper, a little more sweetness. The one that's really elevated in, in sweetness is the uh, cocoa. It's a little sweeter, it's a tad richer. They're, um, the other notes are, are, are still there, but those two really have elevated. Um, the earth notes are subtle. The uh, oak notes are detectable. The finish, which we haven't talked about before, is one of more of a, what I'll call a toasted cream with a few notes of influence from the uh, oak. Uh, there's some lingering pepper on the finish also. So uh, the cigar is still, it's really, more in the uh, medium to full range at this point and uh, burning rather evenly. So there you have it. That's your update. I'll be back again shortly. Well, we're down to the end. So let's wrap it up. A lot more influences of the oak notes here at the end. <clears throat> the uh, um, cedar is still sweet, has some sharpness to it. The uh, cocoa notes have really tailed off. They're detectable, but they're much more subdued. Uh, the earth notes really don't have much to play with it right now. And the finish is about the same. Cigar ended up you could call it medium to full. I, I believe I, I, that's what I'm going to judge it as. And um, the cigar has made several little changes here and there. Uh, I've enjoyed that combination of cedar and cocoa in a Nicaraguan cigar that wasn't, uh, it wasn't the Maduro, it's a dark Habano, but uh, regardless, that's what the notes were. And um, it burned very evenly. Uh, I've enjoyed the cigar a lot. The only one I have to judge on is just this one sample. So I've tried to be careful about what the notes are. For me, it's been a very good cigar. Score-wise, I'm giving it a 92. I can smoke a lot of these cigars. They're very good. And uh, Arendoza is starting to filter out more and more into the, into the United States. They uh, have uh, a new rep and what have you that's handling the... Uh, East Coast, so uh, we'll see if we see these in shops, but uh, very good cigar. I suggest you try it. Next up will be the Blue Label. I'll probably do it uh, next weekend, but uh, very good cigar. Aaron knows a white label, Robusto 92.